You must accept this truth that you were born for such a time as this and that at this very moment all you have is all you need. No retreat, no surrender. The biggest battle you will fight is with yourself. This battle will never go away. It's a fight you will have to battle for the rest of your life. You are the only person that can get yourself back up, but you're also the only person that can lie down and allow yourself to be defeated. Failure is a step to success. Falling down is a step to success. Losing is a step to success. Pain is a step to success, but quitting is not. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. We are relentless. We are powerful. We are forward thinkers. We are the generation of hard workers, innovators, and creators. Once a quitter, always a quitter. Prove them wrong. You are relentless. You will never stop. This isn't a game to you. This is life or death. Come out the other side, an ultimate version of yourself. Your will and desire to win are greater than anybody else's. I know you are aware of how bad you want this. I know you are aware of what you would give to succeed. I know you want this. I know it is all you want. I know what you would give for this. So do it. Show it. Prove it. Show the world. Show them that anything you can dream of can become your reality. Success is getting back up and learning from these falls, learning from the pain and the losses. Success lies in getting back to your feet and trying again. You are not going to give up because of a little pain. You won't quit because of a bad situation. It isn't in your nature to give up on this. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you get the job done. You finish when you have done enough work to make progress. You see, I always thought if I could just fear the act of failing, and if I fear it like crazy, I will succeed. Because I thought the fear would magically motivate me to get out there and start taking action. But after that day, uh-uh. When you feel you've exhausted every option, remember you haven't. If I could count the amount of times I was told no, though so I created the mentality in my head of taking no as no, not right now, not no, this isn't for you. If I had given up after the first time I had said no, I wouldn't be here. And so it just, you know, not letting someone dictate your future. If you believe in something so strongly and you want to do something so strongly, who's going to tell you to not do it? There's never a, a failure unless you quit. So if you keep going, there's not a failure. Just keep changing and moving. The person with big dreams is more powerful than the person with all the facts. This is the instinct that says, you've had enough. This is the instinct that says, you've, you've, you've given it your best shot. You can, you can stand down. You can back off. And that is the instinct you need to fight. You need to push back to smash into the ground. Do not take the easy way out. Do not give up based on instinct. If you are forced to stand down, to retreat, so that you can rebuild and re-attack, so be it. But make that decision based on logic not on the instinct of surrender and defeat. Is that so many of our limitations are self-imposed, mm -hmm. you know? And we set, we set something up in our brain, we program our brain one way, and that's our limit. And until we can get past that and see what we're really made of and like get uncomfortable and experience pain, mm -hmm. you can't real you don't really don't know what you're capable of. I think um, I think having a purpose is that thing that that makes us tick, that gets us up every day and gets us over the hump of opposition and adversity. And the reason that I champion adversity and opposition is because I think for the most part in life, 
People pretty much know what to do when things go right, right? Like when things go right, they know how to feel, they know how to act, how to react. But it's when that opposition and that adversity comes and it creates a level of misunderstanding, right? Now the vision is blurred. Now you don't have clarity about what you're supposed to do. Now you question if your existence matters. And I think when you have a purpose, it's powerful because in the midst of the opposition, it makes you realize that you've been put here for a certain reason. But it's not so much about the opposition and the adversity that we face as it is about the perspective that we have about the opposition and the adversity that we face. Meaning perspective drives performance every day of the week. How you view what you do will always affect how you do what you do. People don't burn out because of what they do. People burn out because life makes them forget why they do it. Character supersedes talent every day of the week. No retreat, no surrender. We live and we die by this. Every man must search his own soul. At a certain point, don't let your actions betray your words. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care how many games you won. I don't care if you say we outnumbered. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. Every man must search his own soul. For most people, man, you could be great, but you haven't even pulled a strip off to activate it, right? Like you can be great, but you're living on reserve, right? You didn't, you didn't empty the bucket, right? You didn't give everything you had to every aspect of your life. Opposition, adversity, challenge. Never forget why you do what you do. This too shall pass. Right? And the reason I would say that is, um, like I said, I champion adversity, right? We know what to do when things go right. But the next time it gets tough, uh, the next time you question your purpose, the next time you question your existence, uh, your mission, if you're supposed to be doing what you're doing, and it gets tough and challenging, just whisper to yourself, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. And we learn over time, we build into a habit to spend more time having control instead of more time being out of control. It does matter. Don't fail yourself today.